Yeah. Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome to uh, Jumlade and this session about uh, Ceblon. I'm uh, Oliver from uh, the Octopus Company, the editor of Ceblon. Uh, it's a French company. Uh, we are around 15 people uh, in France, uh, in Paris and uh, other areas. Um, I'm especially Based on in Normandy, so not in the in the office. I work from uh, outside, uh, and so we are uh, around uh, five uh, like this, all around uh, France and uh, in other countries. Uh, so Octopus is the editor of Ceblot, uh, which is uh, an application builder. The another name for this is uh, CCK, as you may have uh, heard about this uh, with. Uh, Extensions like do uh, from uh, Utheem. Okay, I'm going to do a quick presentation of Ceblon for those who don't know uh, the extension. So um, most of our clients come to us with one problem: is they have a Joomla website, but they'd like to extend it with uh, extra features and uh, features from, for their business. So either search engines, uh, data management, or um, other things. Okay, so we came with a solution, Seblot, which is an extension uh, we installed uh, on Joomla. The basic thing for Seblot is the fill, uh, so the, the basic element, okay, in fact, what the extension does is you install you install Ciblot add oops sorry <coughs> you install Ciblot and in fact you can create your own forms lists and such engines okay which means in the form you create your fields from the form so when you're going to create some items with Ciblot you will have a list of items that you will be able to see on the front end, and of course, you will be able to search in that list. Okay, so it's the basic feature of Ciblot. What you can do, so the results that you can have, you can have an extended contact form for your website with uh, specific fields. Uh, so depending on, uh, of course, what you what you need from. Uh, the customer. Okay, you can have results like uh, graphs, charts, uh, list, blog, views, um, uh, slideshows on this one, uh, on this one too, and everything is built from Ciblog. Okay, uh, the client in this case, as example, it fills the title. I'm sorry, it shouldn't be automatic. No, sorry for this. Oh no, it's okay. No, I have to go. Yeah, let me stop. Um, so yes, in this case, for example, uh, for the the black slideshow that you see. The customer only, uh, the, sorry, the client only enters the title, a short description, an image, and it's uh, so with uh, two or three of them, and the slideshow is automatically created. Uh, for this one, you have search engines, okay, uh, with filters on the left, well, or in fact, where you want. You have here the dynamic filters uh, on the right. In this specific case, all the data. I don't know how to stop it. Sorry, I thought it was manual. Uh, in this specific case, all the data are not on the website. They come from a Google database, from a Google search engine. The search uh, is on the Joomla website. We send a request to uh, Google. We get results and we display them. Here, so GSA is in fact what Google uses for uh, the search engine you use every day. 
Okay, so all the data are on a, a Google server, and we get from the search we get the results, we get the dynamic filters. So all the filters here, uh, when you will set them, they will display results. So we don't have any uh, filters that won't you won't have the you there is no result. There will be always results uh, depending on what you choose here. Okay. Uh, for this one, same here. The data are on the website. Uh, and you have well common filters like drop downs and everything. So everything that you have here is set in the back end in the Sablot form or in the Sablot uh, search that you create. <coughs> Same here. Um, these are particular uh, lists because there are there are managers. They are built uh, with Sablot. You're on the front end of the website. You're not in the back end. You're on the front end. The client is configured as an administrator. <coughs> has a Joomla account. Is on the front end of, of uh, the website. So no back end, no extra stuff to manage extensions and everything. Is is on the front end. He has. Uh, some uh, admin menu uh, items and as example in this one and this is the application that we're going to see after you have the place manager and the same you have list uh, here displayed uh, in, a, in a table okay but you have filters on the top so it's the same you can change the presentation the presentation if you want but the thing is it's the same list that you can uh, build for uh, uh, public okay but here it's uh, especially for managers. So in fact, you set permissions and everything, but so only an admin can see this. You can filter and you can, as you can see, you can see the status, the creation date. In this case, the country of the place, you can edit, you can remove. Uh, of course, if you have permissions, if you don't have deletion permission, it won't display here. So you have other, other views, okay? Another uh, feature of uh, Seblot is you can have, in fact, more than one website on a Joomla instance. Mm -hmm. What we use uh, to do this uh, is uh, the Joomla access levels and, uh, and language if you need to have a multi-site language. Okay? In fact, what we, what we do is uh, you have an interface in the back end of the blog and you can say, okay, I'm creating a website one with uh, these permissions, so it's automatically done by Seblot. And I've got a second website, which is called, in this case, uh, G920, uh, okay? And uh, depending on permissions uh, and on the URL of the website, uh, Seblot will automatically uh, redirect the user to the correct content of the website. This means in the Joomla instance, you have two main menus, you have uh, many contents, and depending on their access, and depending on the URL, uh, so if you enter the second URL, you will have this. If you enter the first URL, you will have this one. And all the content is managed like this. So menu items, modules, uh, content. So everything is based on access, and you can have two, three, five uh, websites, okay, depending on what you need. <coughs> we can we have ask questions. Yeah, sure. You yeah. Well, and you have uh, one database for multiple sites. Yeah. Or one that so the Joomla database, the basic one, but all content in the same. So uh, for Joomla articles, everything is in the content table, okay. But depending on the access that you set for uh, for the content, it will be displayed on website uh, number one or website number two, okay. Can you do it by geolocation as well? Like? <coughs> uh, yes. Uh, I think so, i check after, but uh, yes, we can do geolocation. We have an e-commerce extension which is not a uh, public release yet, okay, uh, that we have uh, implemented on Q2, 
currently this website, it's a French website uh, where you can buy some oil and uh, wine and uh, things like this. But these are Joomla articles, okay? With uh, so we we came with a Sevlot solution and we've added, of course, some extra fields for our Joomla articles, so the price and other things. And we have um, uh, e-commerce extension that we install uh, again with uh, Sevlot, and you have all the checkout feature, the order, and everything. <coughs> but for now, it's not public release. Excuse yes. Me, so does um, Sevlot fields do they work in with an actual article? Is that what you're saying? So you can put them in with an article with price fields and stuff, and then the description is taken from the Joomla article. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We you can use uh, existing Joomla articles, so title, uh, intro text, full text, uh, creation date, and everything. If you need extra fields, of course, in this case the price, you just create your uh, field price as a text, and uh, you create what you need. So if you need an extra field for the image, you create your image field, and you said, okay, what what could be displayed in the list uh, of products? And uh, so after, everything here is a standard, okay, but you can customize. And uh, for now, uh, we are currently implementing uh, extra um, uh, payment systems. Okay, for now, we, we have uh, PayPal and uh, uh, another one. I uh, don't remember the name, but um, um, it's Ogon, if I'm right. And so you, you have payment feature and so e-commerce feature on your website. Uh, web service breaks. So I've uh, talked about this just uh, before about uh, GSA, so <coughs> Google Search. I in fact, w just an example of what we can do. You're on the website. Uh, <coughs> uh, you're on the Joomla website. It's a French web about uh, uh, car uh, insurance. You fill a form, so it's a separate form. When you click here on the next step, it sends data to a client uh, database, which is not on the website. Depending on what you fill here, so um, some kind of uh, insurance number and name, you will have uh, so a request sent to an extra database, and you will, you will have results that will, uh, in fact, uh, have an impact on other steps of the form. In fact, if you, depending on the number you have filled here, you will have an, uh, an ID field already for the driver. Here it's a conductor, is a uh, English name for driver, okay, function for driver, sorry. So depending on what you fill here, you will have all your profile um, filled in the next step, after, same for the VI call, and after, so uh, for uh, other uh, fields, okay, for other uh, steps, sorry. So. Simple form, no, in fact, no data on the Joomla website. Everything is outside, and we grab them and display them here. <coughs> Same here, uh, the GSA uh, thing. So just a quick uh, reminder, we have a search which is on the Joomla website. All the form is, uh, the search is configured on the Joomla website. And uh, all data are uh, uh, outside, okay? So on the, in the Google uh, database, you have documents, so videos, images, uh, Excel files, Word files. The customer is on the Joomla website. I want Excel files about uh, anything about uh, UK. You have results, you have dynamic filters, and so you can uh, expand your search with uh, all the fields that are coming from Google. Uh, so we're not only working with uh, articles, we're working with Joomla categories, Joomla users, and we are um, uh, almost done with Joomla menu items. 
This means uh, we can you can extend all these objects uh, from Joomla with any field that you need. So for articles, it's pretty uh, uh, easy to understand. So we can add uh, images or uh, extra fields for category. You can uh, do the same. And so uh, depending on the uh, category you're going to change, uh, all the articles from this category uh, could um, uh, inherit from some category values. Okay, for the user, you could you can extend the user profile. So for a registration, this means we when a user wants to register on a website, uh, basically you have the username, password, the email, but you can add what you, so you have the Joomla profile uh, field existing, so uh, last name, first name, and everything, but you can add some, uh, I don't know, registration number or for, for an event. You can add uh, the company, you can add uh, what you want, okay? Any type of fields. Um. Just a quick, uh, presentation on how you can store uh, the value of a field. For now, we have uh, three uh, storage uh, type that you can use. <coughs> the standard one. Uh, the standard one is uh, you you have a field text, so you have a name. It's stored in the database as, a, as text, so uh, really basic. You can uh, you can uh, use uh, JSON format like uh, the parameters you have for uh, for an article or for a category. Uh, so you can store your value as a JSON value, or you can store them also in um, XML format, depending <coughs> on what you have to do with it with it uh, after. And is is it stored in those formats in the in the database? Okay, I was. Next slide, it was, yeah, I will uh, answer your question. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> we're, in, uh, we're in the back end on a, so what we call form and content type. Uh, in fact, this is a, a content type of sublot. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't like me, I don't know why. Uh, this is where you're going to configure uh, what fields will be displayed in your form. Okay, we're in. The, so you have the title. You see its place. So this is uh, what we're going to see just after uh, in live. You have some fields. You so by default uh, for articles you have the title and everything. So in this case you see article title. So it's a uh, the basic Joomla. Uh, field for the title, but you can see also some extra fields like place snippets so for a quick description, place text, place uh, address. So this is fields that we've added for this content type, okay? So to answer your question, article title, the title of an article is stored in the content table, uh, there is a title uh, column. This field is configured to store its value in this table and this column. Okay, so we use the ID of uh, the article. Okay. okay, this one, here we don't have information, but maybe this one is configured to be stored in an extra table, okay. in a snippet column. Okay, you have the, the hand on the name of the table. Okay. You, the name of uh, the column, okay? okay? Because it's called snippet here, but the, the name of the, sorry, the title of the field is play snippet, <laughs> but you can change the name that is displayed on the form. Okay. You and uh, if you will see this after, if you edit this field, you can say okay. In the the column name will be uh, snippet one, snippet two, what you want. So it's uh, it's not uh, mandatory to be the same. Okay. But you can also uh, store this in uh, so the table you want. Okay. By default, uh, when you create a new field, uh, there will be an extra table created with the name of your content type. So it's uh, uh, and it's a sublot. Uh, there is a sublot uh, prefix. 
okay, and after the name of the prototype. And so as soon as you create a new field, if the value is not, uh, doesn't exist in this table, it will be created automatically. So you just create your field, your uh, table structure will, will be uh, updated. And after, on the, fr on the front, when you create a new place, this table will be filled. And so you can have fields, uh, and it's the case here, you have fields that store their uh, information in the content table. This field store this in another table. You can have 10 tables maybe. Uh, everything is managed by server. You don't have to care about this. Okay, when you click on save, everything is, uh, is processed by server. Okay, so just quick presentation of the, of the front. You uh, have sir, yeah. sorry, the, the, the difference between JSON standard and XML then in that case. You configure this in the field too. So this one, in fact, it's a text field. So. Uh, the storage will be standard, okay? okay. But you here, I don't know if there is uh, no. But you you have, uh, I think, the um, article params, okay? So uh, you can uh, so the storage is uh, JSON, okay? Okay. And what one more thing? Yeah. Sure. And how you interlink actually with the core articles? You are using a field a specific. For uh, we have a table that link, in fact, uh, separate information and uh, content information. If that is that is your question, how uh, do we link? How do we link Joomla articles with the, the extra information? Yeah, That's probably it. you use something like the title or the description of the. No, of uh, no, no. We have internal IDs. Okay. Oh. So what we do? Uh, what we do? Uh, um, you create a menu item that points to a Joomla article. Uh, okay, you want to display a Joomla article, okay, uh, but you have added some um, extra fields for it. So your uh, menu item, your uh, URL, I, um, will be a standard Joomla URL. So uh, uh, you want to view an article, but there is a system plugin of Seblon that catches this URL. Oh, okay, this article is a uh, it has this ID. Okay, you have added some. Uh, I'm checking in the database if there is some extra field for this one. Okay, there is. So I won't display the standard uh, Joomla article. I will display uh, the basic information of the article and what uh, you've configured to be displayed for this article on the front. So if, if I open the database directly, yes. Uh, what am I going to see in the original article? Just the basic information, the basic uh, information. as, uh, as okay. if it was a standard Joomla article. So you will have this okay, okay. article title. You may have, uh, the, the only difference is in the intro text column, you may have uh, a special tag for Seblod. So uh, some yeah. kind of uh, CCK slash CCK. Uh, okay. And between this, the ID of the, in fact, the content tag uh, for Seblod. Which uh, <coughs> this is how we link a Joomla article to uh, with a several <coughs> information. Okay. But you won't see uh, you won't see this on the front. You. Sorry, sorry, can I ask a sorry, can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, yes, you mentioned earlier that uh, you can source your data from an external data source, and I wondered is that is that controlled in there, and if so, how is that something you're going to cover today? Detail. Uh, could you repeat, please? I'm sorry. So with the with the car example. Yes. You you sourced yes. some of the data from external. Yeah. Data off outside uh -huh. the human database. Are you going to come at any detail on how that was that uh, REST API? So yeah. API so we yeah. Uh, I mean, how do we match information from outside to? Uh, yeah. We have. Uh, so I won't. Uh, show you this here, but we have a so, web service, okay, yeah. interface yeah. where you configure. Uh, so you create your request and you have your match. In fact, you say, okay, field uh, Joomla field title is uh, on the external database. Uh, it will come from the API as maybe XML information tag, and the tag is this one right. with attribute uh, everything. And so it can uh, the external data can come from XML, JSON. Uh, Okay, uh, so we are still on the, so where are we, okay, we're not on the content tag, so we, we have a content tag, and now we want to create a search for it, 
and this is what's going to be displayed when uh, you're going to uh, have a result list. <coughs> so here you can do the same fields here and you move them to so drag and drop you move them on your list and so we can see as uh, we display the places as a Google map we have positions we have the uh, uh, latitude and longitude and info window so what will be displayed in the map how are we going to um, uh, place the, the marker on the Google map so latitude and longitude of uh, the place and what will be displayed in the info window okay so in in by default, it's article title, the place city, and the place country. And so everything is, uh, uh, you can customize everything. When you display a list, you may want to uh, display it in a way, uh, in a specific way. We have templates that come uh, that come with a uh, set blob. By default, you have uh, the blob one, the list, then the table. We have extra ones. Uh, so the map, accordion, so you, you know you can uh, ex expand uh, uh, information. You have the masonry, so uh, which is a responsive one. So uh, depending on the device, uh, items will move uh, uh, to have a, a good layout. We have tabs, we have charts. So and of course you get you can uh, create your own because these templates are uh, based on the Joomla template. Uh, Structure. So you install a template the same way you, you install a, a Joomla template. And if you, in the backend, if you check in the templates list, you will have all these templates listed, but it's, they are mentioned as uh, several. Okay, but uh, we use the same thing for configuration and everything. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, you, you can you can add, add uh, your home. Okay. So no more uh, problems with uh, backend front end because as I uh, as you've seen just before, <coughs> you can uh, create list and forms to be displayed on the front. We come with applications. This means, so it's one of the great uh, feature. You have built uh, on uh, one website, you have built your, uh, your forms, your list, your manager, so your, your list for the customer, your templates. I have to know how PowerPoint is. Um, you have built this on one website and uh, another client comes and uh, to you and says, okay I want this and uh, oh but I've already done this for another client and maybe I reuse it these are applications you're on the, your website you click on export everything you've done for a specific form a specific content type everything so uh, before you have to store everything in the same sublot folder we can see this after but everything uh, if you export a folder all these things below it will be exported as an application so it's a Joomla extension and you can install it on another website and it will have everything back yes sorry what's managers managers are uh, so uh, for the front end so a list of uh, items that you have and uh, the, the administrator can from the front end uh, manage them so edit them uh, update so this is what I've uh, shown you uh, sorry, sorry. A new thing or? Uh, this one it's like front end editing in fact, you uh, no no need to go to the backend to uh, remove an article or to change the title of an article. You're on the front end. You can have, if you want, an edit button directly on the article. You click on the edit button. You edit. You have the form on the front end. You change the title. You click on save. You're done. Or you can have access to uh, managers. But I'm going to show it to you because uh, we're going to install uh, the place application. Okay, so these are applications. So 
what we were going to do, uh, we still have so 15 minutes. Yes, I've got a Seblod, uh, I've got a Joomla website, Seblod already installed. I'm going to uh, install the application uh, called Places, where you can manage uh, articles with extra fields like uh, an address and everything, and we will see them on a, on a Google Map. Okay? Any questions before I continue? No? Okay, so I have to move this one here. So I hope you see everything, but because uh, the resolution is, uh, I cannot see on the screen here. Okay. I'm in the back end of, uh, so la latest version of Joomla. I've installed Seblog. <coughs> so this is why you have here an extra menu item in the back end called construction. We see so what so I mentioned uh, before so the format content types, the fields, list and search, templates, and sites. So for now, sites we only have one. So I have no extra site, okay, but I could have a new. So you have three um, kind of uh, sites you can build, depending on uh, how you want to manage uh, user groups and access levels. In fact, so because of course you can have uh, different users, different public users, different registered users, different uh, admin users, and everything. So depending on the complexity of every website you're going to create, uh, you are going to have uh, different access levels and everything. <laughs> so if you choose this one, you will have super users for uh, all the um, um, default Joomla user groups will be reprodu reproduced sorry, for every website. Okay, so for now we're just going to use one website. Um, okay, so I'm just showing you this. By default, when you install Seblod, you have four content types. <laughs> Articles, category, users, and user groups. This means we already uh, create a content type for articles with all the fields that you, you have in the in a standard Joomla article. Same for category, same for user, and uh, same for user groups. So we're going to install So the app called uh, Save uh, Places, I've downloaded it from the, from the market. <coughs> okay, it's installed. If I go back to form and content types. We have a place of the type with fields already set. So for the backend form, but uh, back and form is something that even us, so we don't use uh, anymore. We <laughs> even work on the site form uh, and the content. So what we will see uh, if we check the detail, the details of uh, content on the public on the front end uh, side. So we have a new content type. We have new list. 
So place manager for the backend, if you want to use it for the backend. Uh, a block view of places and a map view of places. In fact, two, way, two ways to, uh, to see uh, your place content on the front end. So either a, a basic block view or a map view. And a new menu uh, has been installed while well created during the installation with four menu items. These three ones point to um, a listen search. So you will, you'll be able from the front end to access the place manager, the place block view, the map view, and submit a place. That points to the form, where you will be able from the front end to uh, submit a place. As you can see, you have different access levels here. This one are publics. Everyone can see the places. This one is for registered users. So only registered users can submit a form. And of course, the access is special for a place manager. But if you have extra user groups, you can uh, change this. Uh, so what I'm going to do I'm just going to move this I've got places now, I'm not logged in on the front end, so <coughs> I only see places block view and places map view. There should be no result because, of course, it's a fresh, in fresh install, but I've already, I already have some fields okay, set for the search, so I, I could search for a description and filter by country. Now I'm going to log in. So my account is a super user. So if I go back to places, I've got the place manager and the submit a place. Place manager, of course, same thing here. I've got more filters than the other list, but still no result. Here I can filter by status, okay, if I want. So I'm going to add a place. We have configured the form with some tabs. Uh, so you can organize your, your, uh, your form with tabs. Uh, and so add what you want in them. So title here, uh, I don't know, um, Microsoft um, Building. You can add a snippet here. Uh, Address is uh, 80, I'm mm -hmm. right. Uh, uh, Victoria Street. I don't have any zip code. You. You. Uh, latitude and longitude here, you see there is no field because it will be calculated when I'm going to submit. And can you set that to be the opposite and not have a postcode? 
to, to actually put in the latitude and longitude. Uh, you mean? Uh, if 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 on yeah. my if on my application I yeah. wanted to put you in the uh, latitude and longitude. Yeah, you would be able if you have them, you would be able to set them as uh, uh, enabled, and so you would be able to enter latitude and longitude. Uh, it's not street. It's. Um, it's easy. It is. Okay, we'll see. Uh, publishing. Yes, uh, that's good. Ah, thank you. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm going to save this one. Um, there is. Okay, I'm just checking. Okay, I've got one, one result now in the blog view. So <coughs> it has, I've got the title and the description. We'll check in the that view. Yeah, there is one. Good. Title, country, uh, title, city, country. Okay, uh, if I go back here. Sorry. Uh, details. It has <coughs> been calculated. Okay, and it's they are just here as information. But you, of course, you will be able to set them as customizable if you want to change one of the value if the calculation was not okay. You change it, you save, and you're 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 good. Uh, I'm just going to show you here. Uh, places, map view. And um, sorry for this, but uh, resolution. here so uh, this is what is used to display uh, the result of the places of the search uh, for the places these two ones the position so they are just here to say okay I'm going to use this field for latitude and this field for longitude but they're not displayed on, on, the, on the map of course okay. you have info window article title place city country so this is what we've seen but if uh, for any reason I, I have to change this okay maybe I want to change the other I want to place the country first. I just save. Go back to place view. Still have my result. But the country is first. Now, I have a link here. Places map view. So you can configure where it's going to link. <coughs> so here it's going to link to the content view of my content type. Okay, so <coughs> here you can change what's going to be displayed here. So if it's going to be displayed as tabs, what's going to be in different tabs? The same in your place content type, you can change what you want. You can change the labels, you can change everything. <coughs> you change everything, you customize, you add. So you have uh, installed your application, you have uh, customized it for your client and uh, as I mentioned another client comes to you and says oh, okay uh, I need a place uh, application but not a standard one I need something else oh but I've already done this on this website here these are the sublot folders where everything is organized okay and you can see here at the end there is apps, there, are app, there is an apps folder and there is places that I've installed. I click on this button. There is an export, normally, yeah. And I now have uh, in my, uh, 
I've downloaded my application from this website. You take it, you install it on another website. Does that contain all the data? Yeah. Uh, not the data. Okay. But the change I've made for the title and the country is in this app. Is there a way of distributing the data too? We have an exporter and an importer. So you can export what you want and import them uh, with the field you need. Any questions? Because I think I'm... Yeah. Yes, sorry. Yes. How about updating the extension? Updating? So we have... Uh, so you mean Sablon extension? Yes. Same. So we use uh, Joomla update. So no update for now, but you update from here. We for our applications the same. <coughs> uh, these are public uh, several applications. So download it for free on the website. They will appear uh, here. Okay, but for commercial applications, you have uh, so you have an ID when you buy them. You have an ID and you have to fill it in uh, in several configuration from here. And once it's uh, it's set, you can upgrade everything when a new release uh, is done. So depending on your uh, on your uh, subscription, so six months or uh, ten. Okay. What about if you have created some apps? Yes. How, how do you update them if you maybe have changed something? Uh, you mean from a website to another? Yeah, similar to the places you had. Yes. If you maybe you have changed that and you want to update it at the location at the uh, you can, uh, so what you mean is you, you've updated your app on one website and you want to do the same on another no, one? You no, have, you have the place uh, app as you had, as you show us. Yes. And you maybe change adding some information or something which are not. Uh, yes. Do uh, do this point, or you mean uh, if you, you upgrade, uh, your uh, change will be lost? Yeah. Uh, no, because if the field already exists or the configuration already exists, it will not be uh, updated. So uh, no, you won't lose your uh, your updates on this one. Yes. When is the new version of support coming? Sorry. When is the next version of support coming? Uh, three eight. So we are on three seven two. Three eight is uh, the release not is out. So we uh, it's uh, frozen for now for uh, any uh, new features. So uh, that should be for the end of the month. Yes. Sorry. Sorry, I mean, um, you might have covered this, but I might have missed it. But when it mm -hmm. wanted to use Sedlock to extend an existing Joomla component, because I looked at this a while ago, and I couldn't agree. I could actually end up with Fabric, but can you do it? Can you yes, we can, this, uh, we can do this. We can do this, but uh, not so uh, easily as we do for articles. But as I've mentioned, as a storage, you can customize the storage. So this means you can store an information anywhere. In fact, in any table. So uh, you have an extra component with which has a I don't know a my component <coughs> table, okay, yeah. with some columns with a, an ID column. Yeah. So you can create your own form with yeah. an ID field yeah. that is pointing to the ID of this table, and the same for everything. And so you can create a new content for this table. So you're Doesn't not pointing to an article or to a category, but to uh, what you want. Doesn't that add in the CCK tags? That you into content and won't that break then the, the application that you're trying <coughs> to use? The CCK tag is only for uh, articles. So it's only in the intro text of and articles. Categories. Sorry? And categories. Uh, and categories intro text, yeah. 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 So uh, we have, uh, so to link, uh, to link, I it's not the only way to link an article to a several uh, thing. We have an extra table which is called the CCK core where we have all the IDs. So we have uh, an internal ID, so a CCK ID, yeah. the article uh, ID, and the, the type of content type. So if it's an article, if it's a category, if it's a user, if it's a place in this case. So we have a table with all this. Okay. Yes? Uh, we'll be, we will, will we be able to use um, AJAX for search submissions or form submissions? Uh, for... Um, for form submission, not yet. We have this for now for uh, the list. So you display, you, you have the pagination, so you have 50 results. 
you have a pagination of 20, you can have a lot more button at the, at the bottom and you click on it and you have the 20 more results. So without having to refresh the page. Uh, that's what we have now for Ajax. And we use Ajax also to have, we have a field called uh, dynamic cascade. This means you, have, you can have up to three drop downs. You select one and the, uh, the content of the two others uh, depend on what you've chosen from, for the first one. Is, that, is the uh, Ajax pagination in 3.7.2? Uh, I think so, yes. Um, I, just, I just know that we're not using it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it is available in, in this release. Except some commercial applications. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you, you can uh, on the on the plot. the subscriptions I'm trying to find the the market uh, extensions oh no I mean uh, So Sebload is, you can download it for, for free, okay? But uh, you have, uh, on the store, you have um, all extensions that you can, yet you can have. So you can have extra fields, you can have extra uh, templates, extra content types, or <coughs> applications, which bring everything. Um, so as I example, this field that is used for places, address to coordinates. So in fact, you have a field with an address when you store you have two extra fields, so latitude and longitude. So this one is uh, for free. Uh, you have a uh, button console. You have uh, so any store, any type. You have applications. So you can you you need a comment uh, application for your articles. You get this one. You install it. You have comments. Uh, you have a uh, FAQ. You have flow places. Uh, uh, internet, uh, what do you uh, background, uh, which lets you which uh, lets you have a, a dynamic background with images yeah. in the background of your website. Uh, yeah. Feedback, site maps, oh, well. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So I just um, remind me for me because I'm currently a two user. Um, what, what is your company's commitment like to support? Because this documentation from you thing is terrible and obviously even worse. So if you asked to look to move to start using Sublux as CCK, yeah. the main thing for me is how, how is the support provided? Uh, you have, so on the, on the website you have a documentation uh, section and a resource section, so where you can have uh, tutorials on first, of course, how to install Sebrod, how to configure it, and uh, uh, with some uh, explanations. Uh, we have a forum, uh, and depending on your subscription, so you, we have a public forum, and depending uh, after on your subscription, you can have uh, um, uh, support hours. So we have a Skype chat with our clients to help them uh, uh, fix something or to <coughs> do uh, things. So on there's a support mainly is a, is a community forum, then is, is that 
Uh, are there developers on there which answer questions? Uh, there are developers. Yeah, we are on the forum. So, uh, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we're on it. Yes. Okay. Great. No problem. Okay.